Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Buari rules out bill option for IPOB leader Unamdekanu. Buari rules out bill option for IPOB leader Unamdekanu. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. President Muhammad Buhari has ruled out the bill option for the leader of the proscribed indigenous peoples of the Afral Ipov Unamdi Kanu. Instead, Buhari insisted that the Ipov leader should justify all the uncomplimentary things he had been saying against Nigeria in Britain. He felt very safe in Britain and said awful things against Nigeria. We eventually got him when he stepped out of the United Kingdom and we sent him to court. Buhari said during the bilateral meeting with British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on the margins of the 36th Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting, CHOGM, in Kigali, Rwanda. Let him defend all that he has said there. His lawyers have access to him. Remember he jumped the bill before? How are we sure he won't do it again if he is admitted to bill? According to a statement by presidential spokesman, Femi Adeshino Buari also ruled out seeking a third time in office Claiming the person who attempted, who attempted it did not end well in what many believe is a subtle reference to former president Olusegun Obasanjo. Another time for me, no, he maintained. The first person who tried it didn't end very well. Aside from this, Johnson and Buaril also discussed security issues in Nigeria, with the Nigerian leader linking the renewed wave of crimes in Nigeria to the crisis in Libya. Buaril also said the nainers of the PM to help Nigeria tackle insecurity is a good step. But reiterated that since the fall of Muammar Gaddafi, after 42 years in power, armed guards have been unleashed on countries in the Sahel. These people, he said, are causing havoc everywhere, as the only thing they know how to do is to shoot guns. He, however, said the country is making progress in the fight against Boko Haram and other groups. One of the steps being taken by the Nigerian government, he added, was educating that people that only a non-serious person could kill innocent people and say, Allah Akbar, God is great. 
God is justice. You can't take innocent souls and ascribe it to God. And the education process is working. The people now understand Boko Haram as anti-God and not about religion. President Muhammad Buhari has ruled out the bail option for the leader of the prescribed indigenous peoples of Biafral Ipoh Unamdi Kano. Instead, Buhari insisted that the Ipoh leader should justify all the uncomplimentary things he had been saying against Nigeria in Britain. He felt very safe in Britain and said awful things against Nigeria. We eventually got him when he stepped out of the United Kingdom and we sent him to court. Buhari said during a bilateral meeting with British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on the margins of the 26th Commonwealth Heads of Government, meeting CHOGM in Kigali, Rwanda. Let him defend all that he has said there. His lawyers have access to him. Remember, he jumped the bill before. How are we sure he won't do it again if he's admitted to bail? According to a statement by presidential spokesman, Femi Adeshino, Buhari also ruled out seeking a third time in office, claiming the person who attempted it did not end well in what many believe is a subtle reference to former president Olusegun Obasanjo. Another time for me, no, he maintained. The first person who tried it didn't end very well. Aside from this, Johnson and Buaril also discussed security issues in Nigeria with the Nigerian leader, linking the renewed wave of crimes in Nigeria to the crisis in Libya. Buhari said the nearness of the PM to help Nigeria tackle insecurity is a good step, but retreated that since the fall of Muammar Gaddafi after 42 years is power, in power, armed guards have been unleashed on countries in the Sahel. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for